Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not Hello, Patricia. Welcome, welcome. Action that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now, I'm explaining, you're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, 
they're wearing shoes when forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be let me give an example on the chart they are not wearing shoes they are not wearing shoes if we made the contraction that will be they're not wearing shoes finally the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression for example it's snowing and it's very cold that's given additional information I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots that's contrasting information now I would like for you to give some examples of your own talk about the activities that you your family your friends and co-workers are doing now for example I'm learning English my wife is cooking dinner my boss is working at his office give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums All right, guys, now we're going to look at the knowledge check. Number one, I, I, number one, what do you have for number one? I, no, not yet. Okay, you will have 10 minutes to complete the activity. 10 minutes to complete the activity.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Or do you need more time? Uh, more time, please. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Hola, Patricia. Hola, Marvin. ¿Usted ya hizo esta lección? Este, ahorita la estoy realizando, pero estoy viendo el ejemplo el que pone pero no sé si es, está correcto lo que estoy poniendo no sé si ah, ya, usted ya, ya lo empezó igual. a hacer eh, sí pero estoy viendo todo el video porque me conecté ya algo tarde yo acabo de conectarme no tenía el sonido pero ahorita Ajá. sí estoy revisando porque la, el, el primer ejemplo dice sigue el ejemplo dice my name is Clary, I wearing a green suit today. Mi nombre es Clary. Yo uso un traje verde todos los días, creo que dice. Uh -huh. Y uso tacones altos. Sí. Entonces, este, en el espacio blanco será que es I, I'm, I'm wearing otra vez. I'm wearing. Verdad que sí. Uh -huh. Yo creo, verdad. Luego lo más lógico. Hi, hi, heel two. Sí, ya voy a ver yo. ¿Qué significa hi, heel two? Hi, heels es este. Hace poco lo busqué. Y uh -huh. el es traje verde. Hi, heel two. Como, como que ocupa tacones altos también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I'm... Uh -huh. I'm wearing. Vamos a ver. Ah, después dice, está lloviendo. Eh, no. Hola, me habló. 
Sí, en la, después dice en la se, secuencia del, del, de la, del ejemplo que está lloviendo, dice, pero Raycom dice que es impermeable, como que no trae impermeable, algo así, pero... En la 2. Ah, 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 Is everybody finished? Or you need more time? No, <laughs> no teacher. Okay, five more minutes, five more minutes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Do you have any questions right now? Eh, sí, quizás sí. No, bueno, me está costando ahorita entenderle la lección. Okay. Eh, ¿En cuál sección estás? ¿En qué número estás? Estoy siempre en la que usted dijo que hiciéramos la 4.11. Ok, número uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, so, estamos viendo la fotito de la señora con el vestido verde que se está cubriendo de la lluvia. Y dice, my name is Claire. Me llamo Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Llevo puesto un traje verde hoy. Y dice high heels too. ¿Qué quiere decir high heels? Tacones, tacones se altos. lleva tacones altos. Tacones altos. ¿Y tú? También. También. So, tengo que poner I'm wearing. I'm wearing. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm wearing. So, ahí sería I. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así como está allí escrito, I'm wearing. I'm wearing. High heels too. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. All right. You have five more minutes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Está ahí, Patricia. Ajá, esa es la que le había puesto. Ajá. Sí. They dice. It's raining. Dice, but. Está lloviendo. Ajá, está raining lloviendo. significa que lluvia. Pero, yo. Y raincon es, es impermeable. Ajá. I am usteria. Como usando un impermeable. Quiero ver. Pero no está usando impermeable. No. Está usando una como maleta. bag, una bolsa, o bolsón. Es como un, una maleta, lo veo yo. Como una maleta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces sería bag. Ajá, uh -huh. I am... But, y si sería I I will not que no está usando un impermeable no sé también verdad uh -huh. porque dice está lloviendo pero hay uh -huh. está lloviendo pero usando ajá uh -huh. I recall Raincoat, impermeable, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
That's right. It's raining, but I'm wearing a raincoat. That's correct. And repeat. Uh, number one, it's raining, but it's raining, but, but I'm wearing a raincoat. At at raining, but at I'm wearing a a raincoat. That's right. No. Oh, it's I'm not wearing. I'm not. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, asegúrese de no ponerle tilde, sino apóstrofe. Mm -hmm. sí. Ok, number, ¿ya terminamos la uno? Mm, yes. Sí. Yes. Ok, two. It's hot today. Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they, they are not wearing sunglasses. Uh, o sea, teacher, que si yo le pongo eh, dairy, no, no me lo agarraría como bueno. Mm -mm. No. Mm. Okay, number two. It's very sunny, but they're not wearing sunglasses. Number three, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt. But he's not wearing a tie today. Okay, les quedan tres ejercicios más. Les voy a dar diez minutos más. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hello, Margarita. We're working on exercise 4.11. Welcome. Hola. Hello, Margarita. Bienvenida. Estamos trabajando en la sección 4.11. Yo ya las terminé todas. Ah, okay. That's good. Ah, pues... Eh, ayúdele a Marvin y a Patricia.
Ya las terminé, Marvin. Hola, ajá. ¿Y les salieron bien? Sí. Ok. Yo ¿En cuál que... se quedó? Eh, ahorita, comenzando la 4. Ok. Isn't wearing, ¿verdad? La 4, sí. Donde dice she bought eh, es is not wearing apóstrofe ah, es, S es, es el apóstrofe y la S uh -huh. y va a poner not wearing not, not wearing uh -huh. Y de ahí dice she snaker. Ajá. Ahí solo el apóstrofe S William. Ah, ok. Veamos. Me salió mala, ya le digo. Ah. Las primeras me salieron mal, ¿para qué? ¿Cuál? Las primeras me salieron mal. Eh, posiblemente sí. Ajá, porque era I am wearing, ¿verdad? I'm, ajá, con, con el apóstol, wearing. Y se ha escrito muy eh, mal. La primera, el apóstrofe y la M. Ajá, por eso es. Ajá, ajá. porque ya tiene el, el I en la... Ah, igual que en la es? segunda, ¿verdad? Igual en la segunda, ya no le va a poner I am, solamente el apóstrofe y la M. Ajá. Y ahí, ajá, de ahí es un, en la cuatro, la primera, donde dice Sweet Gloves and a Hat. Quiero ver. Le puse es un, ah, la I de estar mala. Es un wearing, voy a intentar ahorita. La primera de la cuatro me está dando problema. ¿Cómo la, la tiene escrita? La primera de la cuatro, ahorita le digo. Ajá. A es apóstrofe S William. She's William. Pero Ajá. solamente voy a poner la apóstrofe. Solo el apóstrofe. La S y William. Ah. Ok, gracias. Ahorita lo voy a hacer. Por eso era porque lo estaba poniendo completo, entonces. Hoy sí, completo. Gracias okay. por la ayuda. Y hoy sí, ya estoy listo. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go to the next section, ladies and gentlemen. 4.12, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form yes-no questions in the present continuous tense. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar preguntas con respuestas. Sí y no en el tiempo presente continuo. Veamos, presente continuo. O escuchamos el video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, 
you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that will be wearing a suit and of course we put a question mark there let's give another example the verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now I will give you the subject the verb plus some kind of complement and you need to write the questions for example I'm gonna give you mention the subject will be you and the verb eat and in this case I'm gonna say dinner is the complement so what I want you to do with that is to form a question so let's take the the, the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use so for the pronoun you you gonna say are the pronoun is you or the subject the verb is eat we need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form are you eating dinner it's the complement and of course add the question mark there so I'm gonna give you more and you should uh, make these questions as I explain after you have finished go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums All right, guys, would you like for me to play the audio one more time? Guys, would you like for me to play the audio one more time? ¿Puedo poner el video otra vez? And yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. 
So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're gonna say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. So now what you're going to do is you're going to write 10 questions here and the responses. For example, is he playing soccer? Yes, he is. Are you cooking dinner? No, I am not. Are they studying for the math exam? Yes, they are. So you're going to give me 10 examples here in the discussion forum. I'm going to put you in pairs and I would like for you to help one another. Ready? Let's go. Hi, Erica. Hello. Hello, Margarita. Hola. hola, Erika hola. me escucha. Sí. Sí. Estoy mal en internet. ¿Qué actividad dijo que hiciéramos? Ah, lo de los de hacer oraciones con respuestas eh, en presente continuo. Por ejemplo. Ah, justo. Um, are you eating dinner? Okay, okay. Bye. Y luego nos dieron ahí los, los lo demás, ¿verdad? Para hacer nosotros las demás oraciones. 
No quiero los verbos, el complemento y tiene usted ya completo eso, ¿verdad? Sí, ya no tiene completo. Vamos a armar las oraciones. Hola. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes, yes. Solo son las 10 preguntas. That is correct. La pregunta y la respuesta. Are you ah, finished? ok, ok. Gracias. Ok. Are you finished? Are you finished? Ya terminaron? Are you finished? Ya terminaron? Hola, hola. Hello, are you finished? Eh, teacher, tuvimos un inconveniente ahí. Dice Margarita, como que falló el inter, no sé. Ah, ok. ¿Necesitan más tiempo o ya terminaron? Pues, eh, nosotros ya hemos trabajado en, una, en la plataforma, pero como no le escuchaba nada, no lo pudimos practicar. Ok, les voy a dar más tiempo. 
Okay. Hola, hola. Hello, Erica. Eh, está Margarita ahí, pero no. Hi, Margarita. No aparece.
All right, guys, if you're not finished, this is going to be your homework. We're going to continue with the knowledge check. I want us to work on section 4.14 knowledge check. Instructions, look at the image below and answer the questions with short answers. Instrucciones. Observa la imagen de abajo. Esta imagen. Okay. La imagen donde está Beth, Nick, Anita, John y Bruce. Bruce. Bruce Wayne. Y contesta las preguntas con respuestas cortas. For example, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? What is your answer? Yes, he is or no, he isn't? Yes, he is. Yes, he is, is correct. So you're going to do two, three, four, and five. You have five minutes, five minutes, work in pairs. Five minutes, work in pairs. Let's go, Erica Beltran. You're working with Marvin. Okay. Hello, Marvin. Hola. No me has fijado si está bien a la plataforma. Sobre el teléfono lo veo. Okay. <laughs> este, ¿Cómo, ya, ¿Cómo va? Pues yo ya las tengo. Ya las tiene. Yo quise escrito malo. Malo. Dos. Um, yes. yes, he is. La tiene mal. Sí, pero no me lo agarra, fíjese, no sé si me he equivocado yo. Quizá por la coma. No, es... ¿Qué dice en que la está utilizando los lentes? Ajá. En la 2. ¿Sí? Ah, sí, es con apóstrofe. Es no, he isn't. Es no. No, he isn't. Sí. Sí. 
Voy a ver la voy a probar. Aquí es una otra, así si la voy a probar. Permítanme, ahora quiero probar. Ok. No, no va a dar. Ya puedo. Ahorita ya. Dice que no sé qué estoy escribiendo mal. No, he's not, ¿verdad? No, es no, he isn't. Solo que con el apóstrofe. Bien, no. He's not. Ajá, he's not, bueno, ya, es que se estaba escribiendo mal esto. Uh -huh. Estoy escribiendo mal. Um, después del no, le pone la coma. No, no, no le pongo la coma. Póngasela. Bueno, ¿Sí? entonces, ahorita voy a probar. No, he is ¿Cómo? not, que es H-E-S, el apóstrofe N-T. Sería I S N apóstrofe T. Ah, ya, yeah. es que yo le estoy poniendo el hi. Mm. De él. En la 2. Ajá, que es H E. Ajá. Ajá, así diría. Y, ajá, de ahí no hi y luego I S H E S S N T, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo que separado. Ajá. Ya lo entendí. Sí, uh -huh. Está mal escrito esto. Sí. Sí, yo soy el de verlo. Uh -huh. Sí, es que las que yo he hecho las he escrito mal entonces por los que tengo problemas. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. If you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. Si no ha terminado, esa va a ser su tarea. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, T-shirt. Good night.